Today I have a skin tone painting demo for you featuring this lovely little pinky Caucasian skin tone. It's Kaylee Bird. I'm so glad to have you back in my studio today. So I am going to be giving you a skin tone painting demonstration today. Um, this is a lovely took us of a wonderful friend of mine. Um, and uh, I know maybe it seems like kind of a random thing to be doing a skin tone demo on, but hey, it's a painting I was going to do anyways. And I felt like having such nice, even swaths of skin um, unencumbered by features and things like that that can tend to be a little distracting would be perfect for demonstrating how I create this beautiful glowing light on her lovely lovely bottom so um, you'll see first I will have the actual palette that I'll use and then I will show you mixing the tones as well as kind of narrate what I'm doing and then I will show you painting part of her you're not gonna see the whole painting today stick around for that because there's a lot more to come on this painting actually this is just very much like first and second step there's a lot more but uh, you'll see the whole painting video coming up a little later so without further ado I hope you enjoy it and if you learn a little something thumbs up and a giant subscribe goes a really long way for helping me grow my channel and I appreciate you guys and happy new year this is my first video of the new year so I'm happy to be here Mwah. I love you guys Okay, so for lighter skin tones, I always start with a white, a yellow, a pink or red, and a green. The skin tone I'm creating today is a very warm, sort of pinkish, reddish, orange skin tone. So as you can see, I'm going to keep all of my mixes to a pretty warm degree. Of course, later on, as I'm adding shadow and things, I will be using quite a bit of teal and some blue to keep it nice and cool. As you can see, I usually mix a big pile of my medium tone, and then I will go in and add more whites, yellows, oranges, or pinks, and even sometimes some king's blue or purple to get the right hue for the lighter tones. And perhaps you might have noticed just how often I'm going back to dip into the oxide green or the chartreuse green. Believe it or not, Caucasian and other fair skin tones actually have a whole lot of green in it, way more than you would expect. I highly recommend experimenting with your own varieties of green to get those tones just right. A good rule of thumb when creating new tones is to add just a tiny dab at a time. If you notice, I'll add a little bit and then a little bit more and then a little bit more of whatever color I'm trying to add in there. And that way you make sure to stay nice and precise. Alright, so as you can see, this is one of the darkest parts of the skin tone on my entire piece. So I'm just going to be fearless and jump right in with some Payne's Gray, quite a bit of deep turquoise, and my deepest, brownest skin tones. I've also used a bit of Van Dyke Brown in there just to bring it down. And now you can see I'm bringing in some of my highlights, trying to get a really nice, high contrasted variety between my brightest spots and my darkest spots. And it works out really well when they're right next to each other because it really gives a nice three-dimensionality to your subject. Mm -hmm. 
So for helping create those brightest brights, I actually took my lightest skin tone hue and added a bit more white, but not too much because you don't want to bleach it out. So a little bit of white and quite a bit of Naples yellow, which is my favorite yellow for brightening skin tones. All right, now that I have jumped over to my subject's back, you can see I have really busted out that cadmium orange on this one. She's got some seriously warm tones going on here, and that orange is just the ticket. Not to mention the fact that it is a beautiful contrast to that teal turquoise in the shadows right next to her. I just think the skin tones on this are just lovely. So you can see I've brought in a whole lot more of that teal on these darker tones as well as some Payne's Gray to kind of cool it down quite a bit. And if you are curious about how I'm getting all of my paints to blend together so nicely, check out the links down below because I have another video that I made on three very simple blending techniques. All right, now I am starting to bring in my brightest brights on this lovely little tushy. And I'm actually using, again, my extra white and Naples yellow with my lightest skin tone, but I'm also adding quite a bit of the Chartus green in here. Believe it or not, there is just something about that bright little bit of green that really gives it a lot of life and energy. And you can't really see it so much because I've blended it in nicely, but it is there and it is actually really making things pop. Today. I always appreciate having you and if you feel like getting a little bit more up close and personal with me and my life as an artist um, I have a once a month behind the scenes newsletter I send out so you can look down below and get on my birds of a feather newsletter and keep up on all the little skinny skinny of what's going on in this crazy little Hawaii studio I call home. Mwah. Love you guys. See you later.